we're really excited to, to finish the fall on a positive note. We, we adjust our schedule a few years ago to to accommodate, you know, a, a, or simulate a weekend that, you know, like we'd have in conference play or non-conference and have three straight days. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've got our pitching lined up. Brandon's done a good job with that this fall. Uh, position player-wise, we're healthy enough now to, to put nine on nine, and, and Chris and, and Bo have done a good job with that. So uh, just to, excited to finish the fall off on a positive note. It looks like it's going to be a little bit chilly, but uh, the weather looks like it's going to be dry, and, and that'll be good for us to get ready for uh, uh, the World Series you know, this weekend and then hopefully transition on into our weight room stuff and conditioning in the November and December and, and get ready for January's full-time practice for the spring season. Well, it's a really exciting time for us. Um, I, I love the World Series for our guys. I've gotten to play in uh, four myself playing here and um, gotten to coach three of them. Last year we kind of let our managers uh, do it and um, back to managing again. So that's it's exciting to put together lineups and uh, you know just toy around with some things. But overall this fall it's been very interesting and in trying to see we got some young guys position player wise. We got moving them all around in the infield. We're moving some guys around the outfield and. Trying to, uh, we'll basically be able to see in the next couple of days, hopefully, the, the adjustments we've made. Video system we have now, Right View Pro has been great. Um, the information we can get from it's been great. The, the guys have been able to see some of their, I, I don't want to fill their heads with too much information, but you know, being able to see some video and see, you know, at times guys can't feel what they're doing. So it really helps to be able to see it. And some of the older guys, I mean, Dunnigan. Um, Shive and some of those guys have really bought in and they've seen some of the adjustments. They've made those adjustments. They've gotten better. As far as physically, our guys are moving around better. Um, they are getting quicker. They're getting more athletic. We can play guys from, move guys from infield to outfield. Um, we can move catchers to first base. We move first base from the outfield. We can move guys around. We have them moving all over. So it's another thing you'll see in the World Series. You get different guys in different spots and see how they react. Um, and, and we'll just see the progress we make. And hopefully this is a good weekend for us. We get to see who, who gets steak dinner, who gets a hot dog. And there's some trash talking, but the teams that generally focus in and uh, don't let all the shenanigans get in the way and enjoy it, but also play quick and, and limit mistakes, that team normally ends up get, getting the steak dinner. With some of the matchups we're going to see in the Green-White Series, obviously the first game is two freshmen. Uh, Matt Davis, uh, freshman right-handed pitcher from Wilmington, North Carolina, Brandon Vogler, freshman from right-handed pitcher from uh, the High Point area. And both guys have thrown well. Uh, Any time within our system, what we're doing strength conditioning-wise, uh, what we're doing with our long toss program, velocities are down with these guys in the fall, and they have to learn to pitch a little bit. And these guys have been the same, um, but been very impressed with what they've done in terms of controlling the strike zone. And I'm excited to see what they do with a little heat on them. Uh, as you move into Saturday and Sun, or fr I'm sorry, Friday and Saturday, Game two, you're going to have two seniors, uh, Corey Roberts and Jason Harris. Both have thrown in big games. Both have been in, in the environment and been in the atmosphere before. I don't ex anticipate them freaking out or, or, or putting themselves in negative positions. But again, with the way we run our fall, bodies are beat down a little bit. Uh, the strength conditioning program is, is an extremely important part of what we're doing. And you know their velocities are down a little bit compared to what they'll be in the spring. And they're going to have to pitch some. And then on Saturday, um, you know, with, with Brock Hudgens and Ryan Butler, you know, two guys, and deservedly so, that are getting some press and getting some pub. Um, their names have been out there a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and throw them, out and throw them out there. Let's see what it is, and let's see who kind of steps up and who enjoys being in the spotlight and who's able to take advantage of that stuff. You start looking at what we're going to be seeing as we get in our bullpen, it's, it's still a little bit of a mix and match. We're still trying to figure out what roles guys are going to be in. You're going to see some guys in some different roles this weekend. Um, Hunter May, uh, we're going to try and close him. And Nate Traw did not throw a whole lot for us last year, had some, some stints that were OK. Really has made a lot of progress. Has really bought into the strength and conditioning aspect of what's going on. Arm strength's improved. Um, his body's gotten better, his, his balance, his flexibility's gotten better, and he's had a good fall. So we're going to go ahead and throw him out in, in a spotlight type situation, see how he handles that. Uh, and then finally, two of our, our dual guys, Corbin Shive, coming back uh, after missing some of last year. Uh, velocity keeps ticking up. He keeps doing his work. And then Jordan Hudson, I know we're getting a lot of questions on, you know, is he really a dual guy? He is really a dual guy. He's been very good in the outfield for us this, this fall, and it hasn't hindered what he's done on the mound. And we've been able to control it because with both those guys, we, we know what we're getting. They've been here for three, four years, and, and we know exactly what we're getting out of them day in and day out. And, um, you know, leaning on them a little bit to help some of the younger guys as they're going through some of the relief experiences.